Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. It's the weekend again, and we're getting back into this ish, which means I'm finally settling into the new house, which is so nice. We are getting the studio together. Guys, the lives are coming back. I'm not in limbo, and I get to spend all of my time again with my Adams family, and nothing makes me happier. I swear, this is like my peace zone. So with that, guys, we're back to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey because you know that them and their daughters are always bringing the drama. And that's what we're about to get into. So before we do, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, let's jump right in. All right, guys, so you know if we have the Real Housewives of New Jersey on, we have drama. Lots of drama. And even this season with a divided cast, they are still able to bring the drama. And I thought the first episode, the premiere episode, because I asked people in my live chat and I saw a lot of like six and sevens. And I'm like, really? I thought that was like an eight or a nine. I thought it was pretty good. We're building it together. This is a great start. It's like we just jumped off the side of a hill with a freaking kite and we're like, we're going to fly or we're going to fall. But right now I feel like we're flying. Anyways, back to it. So I'm going to get into the Melissa Gorga of it all because she's clearing up a few rumors and then rumors and nastiness. And then I'm going to get into the Margaret Josephs. But thank you to all about the Real Housewives. Melissa Gorga is denying some of Teresa Judice's bold claims about her, her husband, and several other members of the cast. Hmm. Okay. On a recent episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Melissa Gorga addressed some of the recent accusations made against her and other members of the New Jersey cast by Teresa. To start, she denies that Joe Gorga's reunion with Joe Judice in the Bahamas was opportunistic and staged, calling Teresa's claims ridiculous. We were really just on a vacation with our friends, and I actually think he knew where we were. We were in the same casino at the same time, and we literally just ran into him. So I think anything to try to spin something that was a positive or that we were friendly with him at the time, it was a very nice encounter between the two guys. There's always a spin to make it like somebody's evil and doing something wrong, but it was the most innocent thing that there could be. Now, meanwhile, Melissa also took issue with Teresa swearing on her daughters that Louie didn't hire a PI to investigate the Jersey cast, and she said, I thought that was ridiculous. She also defended the decision for part of the New Jersey cast to meet ahead of the season 13 reunion to discuss their game plan. As we learned, Margaret Josephs invited the Gorgas, Jen Fessler, Jackie Goldschneider, and the Fudas to her home ahead of the season 13 reunion to allegedly plot a takedown of Louis Ruelas. We were all being investigated by a PI. That was a first. I've been on the show for a very long time. We were being investigated at the time. First of all, it's a meeting of the minds. It's not like a, we're going to come in and attack. It's the norm everywhere. You think that they don't meet and say, what are we going to do with attorneys involved? At least we just ordered sushi and opened a bottle of wine. I mean, to be fair, what she's saying is absolutely true. I know for a fact, um, oh, I know about, I know six of the franchises for sure, for sure, that meet up before the reunion. And they have, like she said, a meeting of the minds. It depends who's on whose side, but they meet up. If they have to fly to New York, they see each other in each other's hotel rooms. They go out for dinner the night before. They talk a little bit. And then we always see photos of the ladies or the ladies and the men or whoever the cast is. We always see photos of them after. And then we're like, oh, wait a minute. Lisa Renna sitting down with Kathy Hilton. So wait, we're not mad at each other? Oh my God. Like that. That's usually how it goes. But- we still have more Jersey drama. I'm happy that she was able to clarify some of those things. I mean, did it look like it was staged for Joe Gorga and Joe Judice to be in the same place at the same time in the Bahamas? Yes, it kind of looked like it was staged. But Joe Judice right now has a lot to lose because Louis is great for Joe in the sense that Louis goes out of his way to make an effort to bring the daughters who are all almost of age and also Teresa and Louie and his family all to the Bahamas to meet up with Joe so that can, they can do things together. They can make family mem memories. They are 
sitting there. It's a modern day family and they're trying to make the best out of it. So if I were Joe Judice, I would not let anyone taint that for me because I just wouldn't want a problem with Teresa. Now, moving on. Okay, this one's a good one. Vanessa Riser. Okay, that's the woman in this photo. Really, really pretty woman. Um, her attorney issued a statement in response to Margaret Joseph's recent claim that Vanessa reached out to her amid legal issues with Vanessa's ex, Louis Ruelas. Now, Louis married Teresa Judice back in August of 2022, and their marriage has been showcased in the current season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. In a statement given to Reality Blurb, Vanessa's attorney, Douglas Anton, addressed the situation, saying, As a professional psychotherapist, Vanessa Riser's goal is to help people identify and heal from narcissistic abuse. She is focused on educating and raising awareness within this space. Vanessa Riser is not a public figure or a contracted television personality. She is a private citizen, a mother, a business owner, and an academic author. Unfortunately, she has had to endure unnecessary scrutiny brought about as a result of her concluding her relationship with Louis Ruelas and the events that each complained of in the years that followed. What was most concerning to my client and I in 2023 was the fact that Louis Ruelas, with his attorney James, Jim Leonard, hired Bo Deedle's firm in early of 2022 to spy on Vanessa and infiltrate her professional practice. Their first effort was with a female covert. Again, um, they said her name is N.M., and this was in summer of 2022. And their second spy was with female agent E.B., in early of 2023. Both attempts were the placement of covert female operatives by Louis Ruelas to impersonate victims of domestic violence and pose as patients and clients of Vanessa and per her professional practice to spy on her. This is a fact admitted by Louis Ruelas in court and confirmed by Bodito's manager in open court on the record. This conduct was concerning and frankly scary. Legally, we believe this to be the definition of harassment under New Jersey law. Now, the attorney also addressed Margaret amid her claims that she was in contact with Vanessa. The court was correct in its findings that my client and I were obsessed with finding out the truth. The truth, which we know as 100% fact, is that Louis Ruelas and his attorney, James Leonard, by Louis Ruelas' own sworn testimony admission in court, hired Bo Deedle's firm to spy on my client, which they did twice over two years. Cobra agent EB is still being criminally prosecuted by the state of New Jersey for her illegal alleged illegal conduct, and having lied to obtain services she is alleged not to have paid for. The statement continued with saying, of course she is afforded the presumption of innocent until proven guilty, but Evie's trial is set for June 18th of 2024, and it was during the course of these matters, pursuant to instructions from my staff and I, that we reached out or asked our client to reach out to all potential witnesses, including but not limited to Margaret Josephs and every other cast member to gather intel on the degree of Oh, the wrongful conduct being alleged against Louis Ruelas. What we learned from over 15 sources was very telling and well-documented in my office still. Um, I didn't realize that it was admission by his own sworn testimony. That's a little alarming. And also, well, you can't lie to the court. And I guess they were right. I mean, if it's in a sworn testimony, was that sworn testimony already in place when Teresa swore on her daughters? I don't know. I have questions to which I need answers. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in just a little bit. And thanks, guys, for being patient with me over the last three weeks. Love you guys. Bye.